I'm Ryan from The Burnout Show, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install your timing chain and gears on your engine. So I've actually got my Chevy 350 right here that I'm rebuilding, and I'm doing a whole tutorial series on this channel about that process. So I've already got a bunch of videos about taking the engine apart, and slowly I'm getting more and more out about uh, rebuilding the engine. So if you're interested in that, definitely hit the subscribe button. But for right now, let's focus on the timing chain. First, we're gonna need to take the crankshaft gear. That's the smaller gear of the two, and we're gonna need to take a look at the symbols on the gear. So these symbols will vary based on make and model and potentially manufacturer as well uh, if you're getting aftermarket parts. But for a Chevy 350 there's typically going to be a dot or an O which means straight up or zero and there's either going to be an A or a triangle which represents advanced and then lastly there will be an R or a square which represents retarded timing. So most builds will use the straight up or zero degree timing mark, uh, and that's actually what I'm gonna use because I'm building a pretty much street engine daily driver. It's kind of like a street strip, but more on the street side. Um, so basically what you'll wanna do is take the keyway that's lined up with the dot or the O, and then put that keyway onto the crankshaft key. Now you won't be able to push this on all the way by hand, so you're actually going to need a mallet and either a special designed tool for this, which goes anywhere from like 20 to 30 bucks, or you can use a large socket that fits over the diameter of the crankshaft here. Or in my case, if you don't have either of those things and you're not gonna spend the money on them, you can use an old peach can. <laughs> You can use basically any piece of metal that is hollow and has a wide enough diameter, but be careful that you make sure that the diameter isn't too big so that it doesn't go outside of the gear, because of course the objective is to hit the gear further onto the crankshaft. You also need to make sure that the piece of metal you're using is thick enough and strong enough so that it won't dent or deform when you hit it. Also the head of my mallet is too small to hit the end of this pipe, so I'm going to try to use this uh, <laughs> plank of wood to allow me to hammer this together. The goal of all this is to evenly press the crankshaft gear all the way down onto the crankshaft. And again, you want to make sure that you, you try to keep this as even as possible. You don't want to say use a pipe like this that's too big and then only hit this side or only hit this side because then it won't go on quite evenly and it might cause problems in the future. Try to keep this all even and level and then... <laughs> uh, of course I broke the block of wood. Un momento por favor. Obviously uh, the heavier the mallet the better uh, but it's gonna take quite a few good swings to get that gear uh, pushed all the way down onto the crankshaft. But once you do that Next, we're gonna to wanna to set the engine to top dead center. Um, so I'm not gonna to go too deep into that in this video because I already have another video on the channel that goes a little bit more into it. So there'll be a link to that in one of the corners. I don't remember which one. Once your engine is at top dead center, we can go ahead and take our camshaft gear. That's the other gear, the bigger one. And then we want to temporarily put it on the camshaft. I'm actually gonna put one of the bolts in as well, just so it stays on a little easier. And then we wanna use the gear to spin the camshaft until the dot on the big gear perfectly lines up with the dot on the small gear. Now, you might also wanna use a ruler to make sure that these two dots line up perfectly uh, between the centers of the camshaft and the crankshaft, because if they're even off slightly, you might cause a little bit of problems down the road. Uh, so you really want to make sure that they are exactly straight on with each other. I'm actually just going to use this bolt quickly to check and see. Now, being very careful to not move your camshaft, go ahead and take that gear back off. So now we've effectively set the cam timing in regards to the crankshaft. So next we're going to want to take our chain and actually put it on the gear and then carefully installing the chain onto the lower gear while keeping the timing correct. You can see I still have the dots lined up which means I didn't move the camshaft at all and now I'm going to go ahead and put the bolts in to lock the gear in place. And finally you just got to get your torque wrench and torque these three bolts down to 20 foot-pounds. 20 foot-pounds really isn't a lot so you got to be careful that you don't over torque them. 
that just about wraps it up for this whole process. Once you've torqued down the bolts, your timing gear and chain are set. Overall, pretty easy, but you definitely need to make sure that you get all this right or else your engine will not run properly. That's gonna be it for this video, so hit that like button if you found the video helpful. Like I said at the beginning, I'm doing a whole series of tutorial videos like this one, so if you're interested in those, definitely hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped.